And now we're going to show you these bags right here, thousands of them not reaching their destination. And now the TSA is facing tough questions about service problems creating long security lines at the airport. ABC's David Curley is live at Reagan National Airport with the story. Good morning, David. Morning, George. You know, you and I are not the only ones who wait in these lines. So do members of Congress. They wanted some answers about why these lines are so long and not surprising in Washington. That involves a bit of politics. Across the country, long security lines. This is a nightmare. And if that wasn't enough, in Phoenix, a TSA computer problem meant that 3,000 bags didn't get to where they were supposed to go Thursday. Problems bringing anger to Congress. That's not acceptable. There were harsh words for the man running TSA. You cannot train, you cannot retain, you, and you cannot administrate. The problem? Security isn't keeping up with all of us who are flying, with the busy summer travel season still ahead. Already 4 to 8 percent more flyers, but the number of TSA officers flat as security has been tightened because of test failures. Bottom line? We did not have enough people to staff our lanes. And for the first time, the White House is blaming Congress for these long lines, for not funding additional security officers. A problem that people have noticed can be traced back pretty directly to the inability of Republicans in Congress to govern the country. But Republicans wanted to know why a $90,000 bonus was paid to the head of TSA operations before the administrator started. Those bonuses were given to somebody who oversees a part of the operation that was in total failure. I don't think it's right, and, uh, and I stopped that practice. Now, the head of Homeland Security and TSA will be here later today to tell people and warn them that the lines are going to be long this summer and get to the airport early, Robin. And pack a lot of patience. All right, David, thank you.